Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Ale review. Uh, Saturday night, and I haven't done a review all week. I've just been uploading um, from the hard drive, so I thought I'd uh, do a few uh, today. Um, got a beer here that um, I have had before a very long time ago. I can't remember it. It's the Innocent Gun. Um, it's the original, the original one um, that they've done. Um, it's in a, water, a clear glass, 330ml bottle. Um, I believe Innocent Gun from Scotland, I believe. Yeah, handcrafted Scottish beer. Um, smooth Scottish beer with hints of toffee, vanilla and oak. I wouldn't normally read the um, taste notes, but they just spit out to be so bold on the front there. It's got a nice crown on the top. Innocent Gun, oak aged beer. Quite interested to taste this. Um, anyway. Oh, it's fizzing up slightly there. Right. I got it in the wine glass today because um, 330ml normally fits quite nicely in here, so. I think, um, I always thought Gordon Ramsay had something to do with this brewery. The TV chef, personality chappy. Because um, he was always trying to push this in his restaurants, but I'm not sure actually. Um, well, as you can see, as you could see from the bottle, this sort of, um, um, <laughs> I don't know what colour is that. So I'm really tired today. I've been out doing all sorts of cycling and working on the car and that and gardening. Um, that's, um, it's sort of a, um, not golden, dark and golden, coppery, maybe, colour, dark golden, amber even. Amber, that's the word I'm searching for. Um... <laughs> Decent bit of carbonation from the bottom there. I have had this in the fridge because it did recommend to keep it between five and eight degrees. And it's been quite warm the last few days, so it's too warm to keep it out. So I put it in the fridge. Um, it's got a just off white, half a finger, nice creamy head. Look at that condition in there from the lacing on the glass. That looks lovely. Let's get the nose in. Oh wow! You really can... Oh that smells fantastic! You really can smell the oakiness in there. It's got, I've got a, a, a slight sweet... Nice sweet malty aroma to that. I'm getting sort of a fruit in there as well, sort of a berry maybe. It smells really fresh and sharp as well. I, I think I've, I've filled the, it's, the glass is filled up a little bit too much to try and swirl it around. I might get the, the uh, nose in a moment when I've had a sip, I think. Yeah, I want to swirl it around. And I can't, it smells really rich and, and fragrant, floral even as well. Right, let's dig in because I'm really thirsty for a beer. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, I forgot to look at the ABV on this, actually. Um... 6.6% ABV. You can taste the alcohol in there. I'm getting... That is so complex. I'm getting spices in there. I'm getting banana. I'm getting toffee. It's sweet, malty, there's no bitterness in there at all. Very little, very mild bit of carbonation, very smooth, glides down your throat, pardon me. And I've got a banana-y burp on that as well. Um, 
I have to say it was a little bit too sweet for me. Um, it's a very, it's a fantastic beer, but it's, I'd rather have something a bit more bitty, bitter, hoppy. Um, but I can imagine Christmas Day. As it, to, to me, it's more of a Christmassy beer because because of those spices in there. But I think because it's chill, it is slipping down very easily. And I think before the end of the review, I may even drink all of this. That is so easy to drink. It does kind of remind me of a Belgian triple, the sweetness. Um, I'm going to try and get some more on the nose before it's all gone. Yeah, I'm getting a bit more spice now. And to be honest, there's a lot on the nose which you can get from uh, the taste and the, the, is, is, is almost the same. Very similar, although you don't get the massive alcohol hit. Well, not massive, it's a, it's a reasonable alcohol hit. It's going to be a first, I think I'm going to finish that before the end of the review. Um, brewed in small batches, oak aged beer, unlock the flavour. Um, it's got carefully matured for 77 days on there. And it's got the signature of the brewer. Come on, zoom in. Anyway, um, OK's like no other beer. Innocent Gun Original OK's beer. This honey hued beer is matured over the finest American oak hardwood, heartwood, to unlock natural flavours from deep within the oak grain. <coughs> These luscious flavours of toffee, vanilla, and oak perfectly balanced. Oh, vanilla, I see, I would say it's banana, but it says vanilla. Perfectly balanced the beer's malt backbone and light hot fruitiness. Its mellowness and depth of flavour makes it a great complement to food like grilled seafood, juicy steaks and mature cheese. Uh, serve it four to six degrees, so I mean, it's, it's my fridge is set at five degrees, so you know, it's perfect, perfect temperature. Product of Scotland. Um, trying to find a website on there. Oh, www innisandgun.com um, yeah I mean that's yeah 330ml 6.6% ABV I, I, I don't I wouldn't be disappointed if I had to drink it again but I don't think I'd buy it out of choice because it, like I say it isn't really my sort of beer but it is very good It's just that, that first initial, I find that first initial mouthful is, is, is quite rich. But the second one does go down very easily. It's very enjoyable. Um, I'm going to finish this because it's the first time I'll ever finish a drink on, on a review. I, I always drink about half a pint or half a bottle. I always save a bit for after the review. Mm. There you go, gone in nine minutes. Um, I think that's going to get that's going to get a seven and a half out of ten from me. Um, I probably, I would definitely drink it again. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it for a long time because, like I say, it is, it's, it's more one for me for the winter. But having said that, it's quite a nice burp. I did very enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box, and I'll see you again soon. In another review. Cheers.